Mr. Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Dante Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the Marvel Legends um, Logan and Hawkeye from the Old Man Logan series. Uh, I get through the comics. So here you have the Marvel Legends logo. Uh, you get the gold X this time. Uh, it looks, it's not really reflective, but it's designed like that. And you get the Logan and Hawkeye. And here you get the other gold X with the Marvel Legends symbol there. And you get uh, Hawkeye there. Then you get Hawkeye there and Logan there. And then you get Logan. So, and then here's the bottom with the DCPI for you. But besides that, let's crack them open. Here's the pack, uh, guys, out of the packaging here for you. So, first, let's start off with Hawkeye here. So, first, he has two bows. So, this one we've seen before with the uh, Endgame Hawkeye uh, with the. Uh, like the quantum suits if it'll focus uh but we've seen this bow before it's all black so there's nothing real special about this one um but yeah and then we also get this other one where he's actually drawing back the bow so i like this one a lot i will definitely have him using this one and you get the little uh coil thing whatever you want to call it it's kind of like a crossbow and you get the arrow and this little thing here i don't remember what you call this so yeah they did a good job and the string is gray so that's cool I like that a lot and he has this uh i forgot what you called these two but it's for holding your arrows and stuff like that um and yeah they did a good job on this and you get all these little arrow um things in the back here sorry i totally forgot my arrow logic and stuff like that so Yep, and then you get that little plug there and just pour that onto his back there. I'll do that here in a sec. Um, and then the other accessory, he comes with an extra head with sunglasses and he's actually in a ponytail there. So that's cool. And then here's Hawkeye here. So you get the long old version of Hawkeye here. So I like the, what they did with the uh, the hair here, where it's all flowy into the wind like that. It's pretty cool. It looks very serious and pissed off. You get the beard, blue eyes. So I like this a lot. And you get this like little elbow strap for him. You get these gloves to protect his fingers from getting sore from drawing back the arrows. Um, you get this gray uh, sleeveless shirt here. And you get the no pegs, uh, pegless joints here uh you get the belt you get this little satchel too i'm pretty sure this is the same satchel that we've gotten with the green goblin figures except this one's just brown um the pants are cool you get these little knee pads here so it's like a camo i mean uh cargo pants um you get the belt here uh the boots are cool they're like hunting boots or something, like that, I believe. They, they even include the laces and stuff like that, so they did a really good job here. And they're also pinless joints for the knees, so that's awesome. Um, but yeah, that's really it. And then you also get this like little strap here, like what Captain America does sometimes have. So that's cool, and it's a separate piece, so if you want to, you can take that off if you want, but I'm not going to. Um, but let's, besides that, let's go over his articulation. So his head can move down that much, up that much. You get left and right motion here. Um, you get a little bit of head pivoting there, so that's good. Uh, his shoulders can move low past 90 degrees there, so that's, that's, that's good. You get 360 rotation around the shoulder. He does have a butterfly joint, very small one there, so that's good. He does have a bicep swivel. Uh, pinless joints uh, for his elbow there and he bend that much. Um, his wrists here can uh, hinge down side to side there so like that and you get a little bit 
shipping go going on there, so that's not that good. But eh, I don't know about that one. I think it just might be excess, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was just excess. Uh, and then you get 360 rotation around there. He does have an ab crunch, so you can go forward that much, backwards that much. He does have a waist swivel, so you can get him to go 360 around there. His legs kick out just that much, forward really far. That's good. Uh, backwards, like very little. He does have a thigh cut, but it's extremely stiff. There we go. Got it. So thigh cut there. Uh, pinless double jointed knees there. So that's good. Uh, he does have a boot cut and his ankles can hinge down that far up that far and nice ankle pivot uh, and then for his like little arrow holder here you just want to plug that in like this and boom and just have him holding the arrow like this and then kind of like have him Ooh, uh okay i'll do the posing here in a bit i can't really do it on on camera i'm not that good with doing on camera posing here but you would have him like this kind of or maybe have his butterfly joints active there so you'd probably be like this yeah that's much better so you kind of look like this so that's cool um and then here we have logan so for his accessories here oh come on stop falling so first he comes with extra hands here. So it's like holding hands. And the reason why he has these is because you get this little baby. It's not the actual Hulk, but it's a version. It's like Hulk's, I guess, grandson, great grandson or something like that. Where, um, and this is like the last version of the Hulk species. And because Wolverine killed them all because they're after him for some reason. So you get the purple pinky there. You get the little, like, not mohawk, um, spiked up hair for him. So that's cool. They, he kind of looks mad. Uh, but, yeah, they did a good job on this one. And you get the black, like, cl cloth holding him, keeping him warm. So you, you have those hands with that. And then you get that extra head sculpt here, which I think we've seen with the other Logan figure from, I think, 2017? So yeah, I have the I have that figure so we can do a comparison with that here in a sec. And then, but besides that, that's all we got for accessories from. But here's the other Lo uh, Logan head sculpt here. So he has the hat here. So that's pretty cool. It looks worn down. It has some rips, mess up scuffs. So that's cool. And then the difference between this is that he has the chops here. Whereas this one's kind of like a beard, strap beard kind of. You get a little bit of fade through the mustache area, kind of. You get blue eyes for him. Uh, they did a good job on the jacket. I like it a lot. It looks worn. It uh, has some holes. Looks real cool. Very southern. Like, I wish they could add a little bit of detail here with the circle. I think that's supposed to be, like, metal. But, I don't know. Then you get some buttons here. So, that's cool. And you get it has this red shirt. I think this... Uh, I think this is the same torso as the other Logan figure, I think. And it's the same um, legs and stuff like that after. So, but it's just repainted. So these are gray pants with the same belt, silver. Uh, and then you get the brown boots here. So that's cool. And you get these claws, which I don't know how I feel about them because they're very, very flimsy. So they don't really stay straight for me. For some reason but you can take them out if you want i'm not taking mine out because the people that played with them took them out and lost them so i'm not doing that with mine um and yeah but besides that let's go over his articulation so first his head can move down if it can there we go move down that much up that much but they kind the collar kind of gets in the way there you get him to look left and right you get not zero head pivoting there. Uh, his shoulders can move just that far because this kind of gets in the way too. Three, you, you get some rotation there, but like this gets in the way too. Uh, he has a bicep swivel, so that's good. 
He has double jointed elbows. I wish they kind of did a pinless joint there. But yeah, that's as far as they can go for me at the moment. Uh, his wrist can hinge down that much, up that much, and 360 rotation there. Uh, he has an ab crunch, so you can go forward that much, backwards to zero because this gets in the way. But oh well. Uh, if you guys don't want that, you can swap heads with the other one if you want. But you just wouldn't have this. Um, and his legs kick back out to the side like that much. So now a whole lot. Uh, you get him to kick forward pretty far, so that's good. Uh, backwards, probably eh, just very little. Very, very little. He does have a thigh cut here. He has double jointed knees. He has his ankles can hinge down just a little bit. The jeans kind of get in the way here. Up that much. Jeans also get in the way here, and you get a nice ankle pivot. And here's Logan next to the other version of the old man Logan figure that we got earlier in 2017, I believe. And here's the head sculpts up close. And they're a little different because my sister painted it kind of like had marker on it for some reason. But they're the same head sculpt, probably just a little different repaint. So, yeah, that's really it uh, for those. And then here is the old man Logan next to the comic version of Wolverine. So, I believe they're the same height maybe old man logan's a little bit taller because he's older but yeah i think i think they're pretty much the same height so that's good they're keeping it consistent um so i think these figures are awesome i like the hawkeye figure a lot uh the old man figure i like a lot too and his um articulation is just a little off but that's mainly because of the jackets in a way and stuff i like the how they added like the hulk baby hulk uh, for the accessories there um and then the extra hand for logan to hold them and stuff like that i like the new arrow for um for hawkeye there and the accessory for the back for holding his arrows so yeah they did a really good job on this and then the only problem that i also have with logan i guess is the pinless joints thing they didn't have that on him whereas they did with hawkeye here but it's oh well i not going to bother me a whole lot but um, but besides that, that's all I've got. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he... Yeah like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to reactions to. I wanna get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, I, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.